Folks, if you like action, stick around. I got three video clips here for you. I've got a Senator Mark Mullen, Mo Mo who is a former uh, UFC MMA fighter, who is bowing up, ready to fight in the Senate behind uh, a labor union boss who was talking too much shit. Uh, no doubt about it. And speaking of shit, James Comer is calling out some bullshit. He has been accused of some things by a Democratic lawmaker, and he lets him have it for about four straight minutes. We're going to get into that one first. And also, we have got none other than Kevin McCarthy today, elbow smashing one of our other great politicians in the back. I'm talking about Tim Burchett. Got elbowed in the back. Kevin McCarthy has denied it. There was witnesses at this point. It is all allegations as, as far as for YouTube's sake. But it's just in breaking news as of just minutes ago. Matt Gates files an ethic complaint against former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy after he lashed out and sucker punched uh, Tim Burchett. Now, Tim Burchett said he didn't sucker punch him. He said he elbow punched him in his kidneys in the back while he was actually doing an interview of all times. Kevin McCarthy said, oh, well, the hallway was kind of crowded. It was an accident, blah, blah, blah. Well, Kevin McCarthy uh, may be asked before this is over because um, he's not only lost a lot of friends along the way, he showed his true colors, and now he's starting to act like a lashing out Democrat because he's lost power. And this is all about money, folks. This is all about the favors that he owes these lobbyists for all the money that he's took over the last several months being speaker. Now he owes favors that he cannot deliver on, folks. I bet he is in such a bind behind empty promises. Remember, folks, he promised everybody everything he could in order to get his job. Now, first, let's go ahead and get into... Uh, first, let's get into the uh, James Comer interview. It is the longest, and it is... Uh, I don't know if it's the best, but it's a good one. Now, this is about the $200,000 checks checking into Joe Biden and the $40,000 check. Uh, James Comer has been doing his due diligence investigating, and one of uh, the uh, Democrat lawmakers is uh, actually trying to um, spin the story. His name is uh, Representative Moskowitz. He peddled a fake news story claiming uh, James Comer loaned his brother money the same way Joe Biden supposedly loaned his brother money. Now, somehow or another, the loan is going to be the scapegoat answer for the Democrats on all this money laundering. In the end, when they find out that a lot of this money is loan payment. So that story was that you just tweeted also. Tweeted also. I said, I had a shell company. That is bullshit. Comer said before calling people who believe that the fake news dumb and financially illiterate. Now, let's go ahead and get into the video, folks. It is a couple of minutes long, but it's all good stuff. I like to see James Comer get upset. Um, the chairman mentioned something, actually. He said that the Biden administration can't have it both ways. And I agree with that, Mr. Chairman, um, which is why I I'm happy to yield you some of my time today, Mr. Chairman, because I think you owe it to the American people to... Now, do y'all see this guy's bracelets on his arm? He's got about a half a dozen, I don't know, I call them junior high bracelets. <sighs> Let me just guess, this guy is a Democrat clown. And he's going to show you folks right quick just what a clown he is for his lack of ability to tell the truth and try to spin things and put accusations out there. I would call that defamation at this point. Explain why you've gone on Fox News and told people that while the president was out of office, he, he had a loan with his brother, and in a way they were evading taxes. It has come out in the public that you also do business with your brother with potential loans. And so since you have framed that and manipulated that with the American people, that Joe Biden did something wrong when he wasn't in office, I just would like to know if you would like to use some of my time. I would that. love, I would love it. Okay. You retweeted that story. Completely false. I've never loaned my brother one penny. My father, who was a dentist, had some farmland. He died, and my brother couldn't afford. He wanted to sell it, but he wanted to keep it in the family, so I bought it from my brother. That story that you tweeted also said I had a shell company. That 
is bullshit. <laughs> you can come to Monroe County and look at all the land that is titled in that LLC. I think that the problem is, you know, they tried to get, the White House tried to get CNN to write that story. They went around and investigated all this bullshit that Ian Sams is trying to tell people that only dumb, financially illiterate people pick up on <laughs> and said that uh, it was a shell company because it was an LLC. You're so financially illiterate that you think because something says LLC, it's a shell company. This company, which I financially disclose, has properties. Okay, it manages thou over a thousand acres of land for hunting purposes. It owns different properties. I'm one of the largest landowners in my home area. Okay, I went to the bank and I borrowed money and I bought that land. I didn't get wires from Romania, China. <laughs> my family doesn't get wires. Okay, never loaned my brother money. Don't have an LLC. But you and Goldman, who is Mr. Trust Fund, continue to try Recla to... Reclaiming my time. No, I'm not going to give you your time back. We can stop the clock. You all continue to... You look like a smurf here just going around and all this stuff. Now, listen. Mr. Chairman, you no, have... No, I'm going to tell you No, no, hold, hold on. If we're, you if we're not on time... You continue to spew disinformation. You, you, you have you gone on TV and you said the president did something you illegal. You're doing stuff with your brother. The American people have the corruption. same questions. Why should, Why, should Why should they believe you? Why should they believe you? Why should they believe you? There's, there's a different rule for the you president. There's a different rule for you. Why should they believe you what you're saying, Mr. Chairman? Why? You go on Fox News and say loans you and deals are a way to evade taxes. We don't know that's what you're doing or not. We don't know. We have no idea. We're supposed to take your word for it. This guy is trying to assume guilt on James Comer's part for having a brother and buying a piece of land from his brother, this doesn't equate to anything like what's going on with the Biden family crime syndicate. This guy is crazy, he's full of shit, and he is doing his best with his idiocy to try to spin doctor this in a negative way, and it ain't working. But when the president well, you've says already been proven a liar, Mr. Moskowitz. What's that? You've already been proven a liar. Who's <laughs> proven me a liar? You? Yes. Your word means well, nothing, Mr. Chairman. Go to my hometown. There's a camera crew there today, an opposition research crew there today. Mr. To Chairman, this seems, to have gotten under your, this seems to have gotten under your skin. I'll I pay mean, for your I, ticket. I, I, I think the American people have lots of questions, Mr. Chairman, and perhaps you should sit maybe for a deposition. I, would, I will be questions. happy. I will sit with Hunter Biden and Jim Biden, and we can go over our LLC. That, that'll be great. I'll, I'll make sure the hey, ranking member do that. is happy that, that. that you'll we'll sit, at a, sit at a table. Mr. Right. Chairman, I, I make a point of order <laughs> that, that we should return to regular order. Uh, uh, for the benefit the, of the other the members. The ranking member are... makes a good point. I'll reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up quickly. All I'm saying, Mr. Chairman, is you may have done nothing wrong. No, but you tweeted oh, but that all, I did. I'm, I'm reclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. All I'm, there's a story out there, right, because we believe everything in the media, like when you go on Fox News and say things and everyone says that they're true with innuendos and ifs and maybe the Biden family, the crime family, all this nonsense. But when it happens to you, it's fake news. And what I'm saying is there so should you be the same. No, I'm proclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. There should be the same standard. You said at the beginning of this hearing, the Biden administration can't have it both ways. Neither can you, Mr. Chairman. Wow. He is conflating two different stories in such a way that he's trying to make it out that James Comer is doing something wrong. Such a sad ploy, such a sad attempt. Pretty sick, and I'm glad James Comer called him out and said, you are just full of shit in so many words. Now let's go ahead and hear Tim Burchett's version of what happened today with Kevin McCarthy sucker punching him. Then we'll get right on into that last video clip for you folks. Hope everybody's doing great today. Hope everybody's enjoying their evening. Now, Tim Burchett, uh, ever since he did not vote for McCarthy behind uh, the ousting of McCarthy, McCarthy has had the what I call the red ass, a uh, little bit angry inside, a little salty behind all these uh, situations that he's in, including not being able to deliver for the lobbyists. All right, folks. Took a minute for that thing to pop up. I apologize. 
Now, this is on CNN. Step right off the steps of the Capitol. And this is Tim Burchett's testimony as far as what happened. And Kevin McCarthy, like I said, has denied it already. But while it happened, it was being recorded. And there was two different reporters there that are not uh, Republican reporters, conservative reporters, that corroborated the story. So we know Kevin's lying already. Explain to us what happened with you and Kevin McCarthy. Well, I was doing an interview um, with um, Claudia from NPR, uh, a lovely lady, and when she was asking me a question. And, and at that time, I uh, got elbowed in the back, and it kind of caught me off guard because it was a clean shot to the kidneys. And I turned back, and there was there was Kevin. And um, and I, I, for a minute, I was kind of, what the heck just happened? And then I, um, you know, I, I chased after him, of course. He's a... Uh, as I've stated many times, he's a he's a bully with $17 million in a security detail. You know, he's the type of guy that when you're a kid would throw a rock over the fence and run home and hide behind his mama's skirt. And he just, you know, he, he uh, from behind, that kind of stuff. It, you know, that's not the way we handle things in East Tennessee. We, we If we have a problem with somebody, I'm going to look him in the eye and, and talk to him. Okay, so he walked down the hallway, hit you in his el- with his elbow. Yeah, you, and you, then- can, you can go on Claudia's. Twitter account, it, it, it pretty much, um, or X account, it, right. it, it, it's, it's very accurate. Well, okay, so then just explain, so you chased him? What, what do you mean you chased well, him? I just ran after him, I was like, what the heck, you know, why'd you do that? You know, because it was, uh, like I said, it, if you've ever been hit in the kidneys, it's a little little different. You don't have to hit very hard to cause a little bit of pain, a lot of pain. And and so I, and he just, of course, um, as he always did, does, he just uh, denies it or I, uh, blame somebody else or something, you know, and it was just a little heated, but I just backed off because there wasn't any, I saw no reason. I wasn't gaining anything from it. And then everybody saw it, so it didn't really matter. But he responded to you? Yeah, yeah, he just acted like, you know, what are you talking about? You know, who are you to, you know, that kind of thing. And it's just, you know, I think that's that's symptomatic of the problems that he, he's had in his short tenure as speaker and were you face to face when you had this interaction yeah, yeah but there's security detail and i get it they had to, they were doing their job so it wasn't exactly like he didn't he wouldn't turn around and face me he he kept scurrying trying to keep people between me and him and then so- <laughs> scurrying like a little rat oh kevin mccarthy tried a cheap shot hit somebody from behind during an interview and then run and deny it. Boy, don't get any more chicken shit than that. Just my opinion, folks. Now, I got one last little video clip here for you. And this is a good one, too. I'm talking about a heated exchange. This is crazy here. This is, um, I don't actually know this guy. Uh, this this uh, representative, this senator. But this is actually a very cra- crazy hearing. It's, uh, this is Oklahoma Senator... Mark Mulwane Mullen, uh, Senator Mullen, just stood up and tried to fight Labor Leader, uh, Labor Leader, Labor Leader, Senator O'Brien of the Teamsters Union uh, at the Senate Help Committee hearing after reading his tweet where O'Brien said he'd take him anytime, any place. So they've been talking shit to each other on Twitter and I guess they're in front of each other in person. And we're just going to see how it goes together. Like he's self-made. Sir, I wish you was in the truck with me when I was building my plumbing company. Myself and my wife was running the office because I sure remember working pretty hard and long hours. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been. Always will be. Quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place anytime cowboy sir this is a the time this is a place if you want to run your mouth we can be two consenting adults we can finish it here okay that's fine perfect you want to do it now i'd love to do it right now well stand your butt up then you stand your butt up oh hold on no, hold, stop it <laughs> so you solution every call no no sit down sit down okay you know you're a united states senator sit down. Oh, okay sit down that's please. bernie sanders right. respond hold it hold it if Hold we can't, no, I have the mic. Said. I'm sorry. This is Hold what it. he said. You'll have your time. Okay. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> this is a hearing. 
It's been a hell of a day, folks. That's all I can say for it. It has been fireworks from the get-go. It has been a uh, a blistering day for a lot of us around here, folks. That's another story, though. We'll get into that here this late in the, in the show. Everybody have a great day. Like, subscribe, and share. Over and out.